everybody's bridging. Now that is a skill. See if you keep that there. Okay, everybody tries to roll too quick. You gotta bridge them first. Okay, like we said before, it's a two parts. You gotta bridge, then roll. to escape from any pen and judo sambo jiu jitsu is as soon as you think oh my god i'm in trouble boom i gotta go okay so be, do really make it explosive and fast so if if derek lays there and lets mike pin him he's probably going to stay there for the full time you know once you get stuck it's hard to get unstuck okay most standard people hold case katami here and they're like that you can see it now remember by mike holding this way this basic way like this, it does allow Derek to get his hands around Mike's body at a body lock. So he does that. Now he can grab his hands together. Never lace your fingers together, okay? That's not a, not a good grip. But you can lock him like this, like a gable grip or a square grip, or grab his belt, you know, grab some part of his gi or body, grab his hip, whatever. He, but go ahead, go ahead and grab him, lock your hands together. So he's got a good gable grip. He sucks him in super tight, okay? Now, not only is Mike holding Derek, Derek is holding Mike. Okay. Now, what's going to happen, Derek's going to scoot his body as close to Mike as he can stand, yeah, stand uh, you know, the balls of your feet, keep on your feet. Okay, now, you see how he's almost putting his hip under Mike's hip, but he might not be able to, but that's okay. And what he's going to do, he's going to, notice his feet are still on the mat, okay, he's going to bridge, this is called a bridge and roll, and it describes what you do. Derek's going to bridge Mike up toward, directly toward Derek's head, and then roll over now he's on Mike. Watch, now Derek will try to, Derek will do this, he's going to drive the bridge, is putting Mike directly, he's going to bridge directly toward his head, bridge up this way, and see how he creates all that space? Now the roll, as he, then he rolls, he drives all the way over and on top. You see how he drove with his feet all the way? He didn't let his feet go flying and loose and, you know, you don't want your feet flopping in the air. You know you're stuck if your feet are flopping in the air, okay? Don't bridge and turn. Bridge, then turn. Yeah, bridge, then turn. Two separate things. Bridge, then turn. Bridge, and turn. Okay, a bridge and roll. Okay, let's do it again. Mike, again. Sit here again. All right, so the two separate events. He bridges, and he rolls. And he counter pins. Okay, he's in a good position. He just has to sit through and he sticks it. Everybody, a lot of people have uh, trouble in the bridge and roll. Uh, not a lot of people, but some people do, okay? And you're going to get in trouble if, if you're on the bottom here where Derek is and you stop having contact with your feet on the mat. If you start flailing your feet, even one of them, okay, if you try to push off one and see like that, that's where you're going to stay stuck for the whole time, okay? So here's a drill we can do. It just works part of it. It's called bridge and roll because we're bridging and rolling. Okay, let's just work on the bridge part of it. So the drills for Derek, the guy on the bottom, he body locks Mike around the waist, good and tight here. He gets good and pretty, pretty close and you know, okay, but notice he keeps his feet on the mat. Okay, now all he's going to do is bridge Mike toward his head. He's just going to bridge Mike up and then bring him back down. He's going to bridge Mike up and he's going to bring him back down. Now see how he's bridging? Now that is a skill. See if you keep that there? Okay, everybody tries to roll too quick. You gotta bridge them first. Okay, like we said before, it's a two parts. You gotta bridge, then roll. Okay, so this, and for heavyweights, admittedly, it's harder to do for the big guys because the mic weighed two, 250 and Derek weighed 250. The body, the girth of the bodies makes it more difficult to do this. I mean, that's admittedly the way it is, okay? And then eventually, Go ahead and hook him. Okay, bridge and then bridge and roll, bridge and then roll, finish out. There you go. So that's the finished product. But the hardest part about learning the bridge and roll is to bridge. And so a good way to practice that, and without your partners, be on your back and pretend he's pretending he's holding Mike. He just bridges up and he bridges and he bridges up and he just keeps bridging. And and that's that's a good skill to develop. It takes the strength to develop. Look what you're doing here in these bridging exercises, okay? So you have to start with that basis, and that's the hardest thing to do, to bridge first and then roll, okay? So let's do some bridge drills and then finish out a nice 
bridge and roll. So here's what we'll do. We'll bridge three times and do a bridge and roll. Can you demo it here for me? So Mike's got Derek, and Mike's going to do three bridges, or Derek's going to do three bridges, and then a bridge and roll. Bridge, nope, there you go. Bridge, bridge again. Okay, now this is where he bridges and rolls. Bridge and roll. Bam. That's a nice little drill to work with. It's a total cooperation. Mike's cooperating with Derek. You know, we're, we're a team here, because yeah, then Mike will do his set. Okay, let's do several rounds of that. Just work three bridges, then a bridge and roll. Okay?